Film photography can be fun and rewarding once you get it right. If you're just starting out in film photography, no doubt that you've made a few mistakes along the way, and it can be quite frustrating. I've been there, everyone else has been there, and even I'm still making mistakes, you know, and it can get frustrating sometimes. And I had an email recently from a guy who developed his film and it came out of the wash and it was completely clear. And he sent me an email and said, do you have any ideas what I've done wrong? So we kind of eliminated um, some problems and stuff that he might have done. And we got to the bottom of it that he put the fixer in first. So he basically fixed his film before developing it. Uh, so he's fixed it, stopped, uh, fixed it, stopped it, developed it, and then <laughs> and then washed it, and it came out completely clear. It's an easy mistake to do. I've done it before. Um, I've only ever done it once. You know, sometimes I'll make a mistake, but it's it's just lodged in my head then that I don't want to make the same mistake twice. So uh, that's one uh, mistake that I've made in the past. Quite quite costly, really, when you've been out all day taking photograph and you come back and you put the fixer in the, in the film first. But there's also some other. Um, indications that you get with your film after developing it if it's come out wrong as to what the problem is. So I'm going to go through a few, a few of those now for you guys that are just starting out in film in case you get these problems or you may already add these problems along the way. So uh, let's get on with it. I'm going to use this 35mm film here I've got and first thing you, you're going to want to do is load it into your camera. Now the first thing I notice is the leader. This is the leader. This is what goes inside the camera hits on the take up spawn and you start advancing, blah, blah, blah. That is already exposed to light. So when I develop this film, that is gonna be jet black. We're going to find out what happens if your camera shutter is not working and no light is reaching the film. You're going around and you're taking your pictures, bomb, bomb, and you're like, you're happy as a pig and shit at the moment. And you're taking your photographs, they're the best photographs ever. You get to the end of the roll and you rewind it all back and you develop your film. You stop it, you fix it. You come out and you look at your negatives and you can see you've got a black leader, but there is no other. Um, there's no pictures on your film whatsoever. The only thing that's left on your film is the writing, the, the frame numbers and the brand of the film at the top and the bottom. Um, and that's all. You've got no photographs. Well, if that happens to you, make sure that you've, uh, your camera's working and your shutter's firing properly. If you've got no photo, if you've got a black leader and you've got no photographs on your film whatsoever, but you have got film information, you've probably done the development side right but there's a problem with your um, camera, the aperture, the shutter's getting stuck closed and no light is reaching the film. So that's the first um, common mistake that can happen if you've got a camera that's a bit duff, uh, you've gone out taking pictures, you know, um, and your shutter's not working properly. That's, a, that's uh, what could happen to your film. This time, we're not quite used to this camera and we haven't loaded it properly. Unbeknown to us, we go out, and we start taking our photographs, obviously with the lens cap off. You go out and you start taking your photographs and you start advancing. I've done this before. And you notice when you get back, you take the film out of the camera, you develop, and again, you've got a black leader, um, but you've got nothing else on the film apart from the uh, film numbers and the film name um, in, embedded into the film itself. What's happened? Well. With these cameras here, particularly this one and all other 35 mils in this sort of league are the same, you've got your, your take-up spool here. And as you're rewinding on, nothing's happening. You can notice straight away, I can just keep doing this. And you see it there? That should be turning. But if you didn't know that, Possibly the chances are that the film hasn't been loaded properly and it's not advancing and it's not winding on. Although you've been out taking pictures all day long, you're actually taking pictures of nothing because the film hasn't been wound on and, uh, or advanced. And it's just sitting as it was when you first loaded it. So if we open the camera, 
there's our film now and all you're doing is just going nowhere so in fact when you rewind the film back it might feel a bit strange but you're still a bit confused you take the film out you develop it stop and fix wash it bring it out you've got the black leader nothing else on the film other than the um, uh, frame numbers and the film name on top of the film so that's a second mistake people make and I've made that mistake before in the past what should happen I'll just show you if you load your film properly you'll notice that the uh, I don't know what it's called the take up spool handle thing with these technical names probably someone what is it called someone must be able to tell me if you keep rewinding as it starts taking it might take a while to go but after it gets through a few frames it should start turning which means that the film is being taken up on the take up spool you can see it there turning as we go along so if you're novice for film shooting when you're out shooting film if you're advancing just make sure that that's turning if it is your film is advancing and if you develop stop and fix properly you should get some decent photographs another common mistake is what I just told you about in the intro was the email that I got that a guy fixed his film first and I've done that before I've only ever done it once and I'll never do it again. And it went completely clear so that's a good indication if your film is completely clear chances are you have put the fixer in first and you'll also notice because you won't get any um, frame advance you won't get any frame numbers or any branding on the film whatsoever at the top of the film you'll get it that will be washed out as well the fixer will just annihilate that so if you've ever get a film out your, out your wash and it's completely clear the chances are probably most 100% you fixed it first. Another scenario that I have never done because I haven't got a changing bag, but I've read that people with changing bags uh, have sometimes thrown in a fresh roll of film with their exposed films and accidentally loaded an unexposed film in the tank, gone through the development process correctly, washed only to pull it out. They've got the black leader, but they've got nothing else on the roll at all. They wouldn't have because there was no photographs taken on it, but they're very confused thinking, I don't understand what's wrong, what's gone wrong with my development process. Um, there's no photographs on this roll of film. Well, they've accidentally thrown in one of their unexposed films into the changing bag with all the others. And uh, I've read about that online. I've never done it before. I can't imagine it's common, but it is something that possibly could happen. So always make sure that you're not gonna stick your unexposed film into your changing bag with your exposed film, that would just be crazy. And other times you've done everything right, you've developed properly, you've stopped, you've fixed properly, and you've pulled your film out and it still don't look right. It may be uh, looking muddy, which could indicate that your developer is exhausted or you've underdeveloped, or the negatives might look very dense and sort of very black and dark, which could possibly mean that you've overdeveloped um, or you've had too high temperature in your developer. Other times you could pull the negative out and it could look kind of milky a uh, look to it, which means your fixer hasn't worked. And if that's the case, sometimes just mix a, a fresh batch, batch of fixer and throw your film back in and it should clear and you should be fine. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something from it and keep shooting. If you've got any experiences with bad film and what you discovered went wrong, let us know in the comments for myself and everyone else to read.